Firefighting is dangerous work, but the danger doesn't end when the fire is out. Firefighters get cancer and die more frequently from cancer than the average American. Congress sent President Donald Trump a bill to develop a firefighter's cancer registry to study what's happening and to learn what we can do to save the lives of these first responders. The passion to save lives comes with unavoidable risk for firefighters, but cancer related to the job is not one of those risks most consider. But that's exactly what claimed the life of at least one local firefighter. KNWA's Haley Huey live in studio got local reaction to the bill and why it's critical to have this research, Haley. Jennifer, Nate, back in September, we spoke with a widow who lost her husband back in 2014 to colon cancer. She emphasized the need for education and says this act is a step in the right direction to protecting our firefighters. It would be very gratifying to know that. His death wasn't in vain. When first responders suit up, the risks they face aren't just from the fire in front of them. We're more prevalent to getting cancer than other folks and other professions. Jane Planchin lost her husband Bud four years ago to the disease and has fought to prove his cancer diagnosis was linked to his career. He had no regrets about this job. Bud worked at the Springdale Fire Department for 18 years. Jane says the Firefighter Cancer Registry Act will help prevent other families from experiencing the same pain she endures. The more information we can get uh, through this federal funding and study to link back to other things that can be done to prevent the cancer from occurring in the first place. That would be phenomenal that we protect our first responders like they do us. Fateville Fire Chief Mario Campos says this act will actually establish a link between the job and getting cancer. It just makes it a lot easier for that firefighter and for the families to know that there is support out there, that that person's record is being kept somewhere. It's part of the job. We understand that. Um, but what we want is our, our city officials, our politicians, and our state to know that it's one of the inherent dangers of our job. Jane tells me protecting our first responders isn't stopping here. In the legislative session next year, a bill will be introduced to address PTSD. Live in studio, Haley Huey, KWA Northwest Arkansas News.